What is up guys, welcome back for another live in the Pokebank OU tier. Today we are using a team made by the Lord himself, MV. I was uh, out of inspiration for teams, so I grabbed one of his. This team was actually designed for uh, pre-bank OU, but I'm using it in post-bank and I've been testing it out and it's actually really good. <laughs> it still works in post-bank. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get a couple of games with it. I'll explain the sets. As we get into it, we have a Mon that completely breaks stall on its own, which is insane. Uh, we're using Lorantis and Torkoal today, which we haven't used uh, yet at all this gen, so this should be fun. Uh, as well as an Assault Vest Lantern, which has been putting in work, so that might get the thumbnail. Um, I don't like Volcarona. <laughs> I really do not like Volcarona against this team. Uh, it does work, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. And he also has his own uh, Leaf Storm user. Contrary Leaf Storm user. Um, I don't see an amazing lead against Torkoal except for Landorus, like that's literally the only thing, but I could lead with Mamoswine, so I don't see that leading. Uh, I feel like his lead would actually be Tapu Fini. So let's lead off with Lantern. Let's see how that works out. If he leads off with Superior, then we might as well just say GG because that's going to be game over at that point. Uh, I would have to go into Celesteela or, or something, I don't know what I would do from there. Figure it out, but... Yeah, no, the team, uh, the team works super well, um, despite these super weak mons on here, uh, it actually does work, it does a lot of work. Like these two here at the end, Tapu Lele and Celesteela are al always the sweepers, every single time. Uh, Celesteela is a Flame Charge, Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Leech Seed set, that works really nicely. Um, we also have a, uh, like I said before, Assault Vest Lantern with Hidden Power Ground, Ice Beam, Scald, and Volt Switch. Uh, Lele is Shadow Ball. Over Focus Blast. Uh, it's Scarfed, by the way. Uh, so he does lead off with the Finny. Uh, I don't expect him to want to stay in, to be honest. Uh, but I am just going to go for the Volt Switch. I can't see him going into Lando either. He d actually does stay in. Uh, let's his Finny take a big hit. And we're going to go into Lorantis because we don't lose anything from going into this. He goes for a Taunt. That's fine with me. We are just going to fire off a Leaf Storm right here. Uh, his best response is the Volcarona. But that thing basically has to attack me if it comes in. So... That's fine with me. Uh, as long as my lantern is healthy, I should be able to take on the Volcarona. As long as it doesn't start quivering up, and then we can have a problem. Um, I gotta make sure it doesn't quiver, basically. Volcarona is really good right now. Like, super good. In it comes. There it is. And uh, we're not gonna get off a lot of damage right there. Uh, I am just going to... Hmm. I'm gonna go directly into lantern. I don't have another play. He is going to go for the Fire Blast, scared of what my Lorantis could have. It could be HP Rock, for all he knows. So, uh, I am just going to go for the Scald right here. Let's see what he does. Uh, he does go into his Metagross. Uh, he doesn't risk a burn by going into this. This actually, that did a lot. Wow. We're max special attack, so that makes sense. But still, I'm, I'm kind of shocked by that damage. I don't want to take an Earthquake right now, so I'm going to go into Celesteela. Uh, as obvious as it is. I'm just going to go into it here, as he's going to go for the Zen Headbutt, and that's going to do a good amount of damage, actually. Um, I am just going to go for the Flame Charge on this turn. Let's see what he has to hit me. Let's see if he even has anything. Could have Thunder Punch. Could have anything. Um, flame Charge seems like the best bet. Because, essentially, if I get up to plus one, plus one, I think I win. <laughs> like, straight up, I think I win. Uh, it all depends on what his Lando is. If it's Double Dance, then maybe not. But other than that, I, I'm pretty sure this just wins. Also, um, even if Volcarona gets boosted up, I have a Sash Mamoswine in the back. So I should be okay in theory. I'm curious to see what he's going to do here. Uh, he goes into Lando. So let's see what kind of Lando this is. I'm going to get a Flame Charge off. That's a crit. That's a Rocky Helmet. Okay. Now we're plus one. I'm going to go for Leech Seed. Get some health back. And uh, then we're going to start spamming Flame Charge because I need to be faster than his whole team. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Flame Charge here. As we are going to get off some more damage, but we are going to boost our speed, which is the most important thing. He's going to go for a U-Turn. That's fine with me. Let's see what he brings in. If it's uh, Volcarona, then... I mean, it's not the worst situation because I can just go for a, uh, a Leech Seed on it as it sets up and then switch out into uh, Torkoal. And then we'll play from there, but... Like, it's going to need a lot of boost to kill Torkoal. I, I basically just want to get rid of these rocks. That's the big thing. Because I want my Mamoswine Sash intact. That's why I would go directly into Torkoal if he goes Volcarona. Well, I would Leech Seed first to keep him from freely quivering. 
He might just want to knock out my Celesteela, but Celesteela is not that important this game. I feel like, anyway. Like, yes, it can sweep his team, but he's also got this Landorus in the way. So. And the Volcarona does not die to Earthquake at all, so. In comes Tapu Lele, actually, surprisingly enough. Um... I could just heavy slam here. I'm faster unless he's scarfed. Yeah, let's go for heavy slam. Let's see what he does. He might double back into his Landorus, but I don't mind hitting that thing some more. Hmm. It's a strange play. I mean, yes, he could be T Bolt, but if he's scarfed T Bolt, or even Specs T Bolt, then he just gives me a free switch out into my, uh, my Lantern again. And I get to go for a. Volt switch once again. There it is. Scarf T bolt. Yep. All right. So what do I want to do about that? Actually, you know what I want to do about that? I want to go into Mammoth Swine and I want to click Stealth Rocks right now. Because if rocks go up and they stay up, then his Volcarona is a lot less threatening. Because it has to go through a little bit of a process to uh, to come in and go for a Quiver Dance. So let's do that. Let's get up our rocks right away. I know I said I wanted to spin with Torkoal first before bringing in Mamoswine, but it's fine. Now I think I'm set. He's going to go out and do his Serp, actually. I'm going to get up rocks. And uh, on his Serp, I'm going to go into Torkoal. Uh, and we'll see what he does. He goes for the Leaf Storm. So that's not going to do too much. Hopefully he's not hitting power ground. Uh, I'm actually going to go for the... I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb here. I'm going to predict his Finny to want to come in. And if we catch that thing with a sludge bomb, we're looking good. And if he wants to go for defog, then he gets rid of the rocks on my side, and he also gives my Lorantis an evasion boost, which is awesome. So. Come on, man. Make a play. He's going to go for leech seed. I'm going to go for sludge bomb. It's going to do a lot. And uh, we're going to get the poison, actually, so that's quite for fortunate for us. Um, and I'm going to go for a rapid spin here. Because he can't just sit here and sub anymore. Well, I mean, he can, but I'm always going to break his sub. Every single time with Flamethrower, so. Sludge Bomb did 39. Flamethrower would have knocked this thing out. <laughs> it would have destroyed it in the sun. It would have been Stab and Sun Boosted. So it would have done, I think, over half. A little bit over half of this. So yeah, I think he would have been dead. Or very close to dead. But uh, anyway, we're going to go for the spin here because I feel like getting ro rid of rocks is a little bit important. And uh, his way to get rid of rocks is Tapu Fini, which he's not going to want to bring in on a Sludge Bomb now. So that's why I'm going for this. Plus, if this thing gets weak enough, then uh, I get to come in with Mamo and just Ice Shard it and get rid of it. So, Or Tapu Lele and Psychic, because his Psychic switch-ins are looking limited. His Metagross is at 59%. Uh, that's not going to take Psychic too well. I mean, it's a quad resist, but it's still a Psychic coming off of Tapu Lele. So, I feel like Lele can definitely sweep this game. Uh, like, if his Metagross comes in once, he goes for another Leaf Storm, actually. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go for a Rapid Spin. And, um, just in case he wants to sub, uh, I am just going to... We actually got rid of the, uh, the Leech Seed, which is good. Because now he's only got Leftovers Recovery going. I'm gonna go for a, a Flamethrower, and he actually misses Leaf Storm. That's unfortunate. We are gonna get rid of the Sup Superior. But I would've actually preferred him to kill me, because now his Tapu Fini gets to come in. But he actually chooses to go into Metagross first. Hmm. Okay. Well, then. What are you going to go for? Earthquake? I assume Earthquake. Um, let's actually go Lorantis. I want to see what he does. He's going to go for Zen Headbutt. Okay, so he doesn't have EQ. That's good to know. Uh, I don't need Lorantis anymore. I'm just going to go for a uh, Hidden Power Fire here. In case he wants to, like, Rock Polish or something. Because that could be really bad, actually. <laughs> rock Polish could end me. Right now. If that's what he is. Um, I think Hidden Power Fire should, in theory, put him in range. Where it's kind of weak, though. I'm thinking it might put him in range of, uh, of Ice Shard. But I might be wrong. We'll see. If it gets him down to, like, 3 or 4%, then that would do it. Let's see what he goes for here. Um, he could also miss Zen Headbutt if he goes for that again. And EQ doesn't kill me. If he has Ice Punch, he'll go for it here. Probably. Um, he would have taken Rocky Helmet damage. If he would have hit Torkoal. So that would have been nice. Because I think that would have put him in Shadow Ball range. I don't know if he's in Shadow Ball range right now. We can calc it. Let's actually calc that. Uh, Mega Metagross. Let's move this over so you guys can see everything. And uh, Tapu Lele. Uh, Tapu Lele. Max Special Attack. 
Shadow Ball. Really got to get the sets in here. Does 53 min. He's actually at 53. Okay, perfect. So we do knock it out. So that's good. He's going to go for another Zen Headbutt. All right, that's fine. Uh, I am just going to go into Tapu Lele here. Uh, just fire off a Shadow Ball. We are, of course, faster thanks to the Choice Scarf. And uh, Volcarona now comes in at 39%, so that's not threatening at all. I think Shadow Ball might even be able to two-hit KO it. Um, and again, we still have the Lantern, so as long as he's not Giga Drain on his Volcarona, we're fine. He let his Tapu Fini take a huge hit uh, turn one, so that's great. If I get rid of this now, then I win with Tapu Lele itself, so... That should be good. Uh, he's actually going to switch out into his Landorus. Let that take a Shadow Ball. We're going to 2-hit KO this, so I'm not too worried. In fact, I might actually want to switch out here. He would just get up rocks, though. Mm. That's not worth it. It's just Shadow Ball again. Knock that out. And uh, I think Psychic... Uh, Psychic almost sweeps. Psychic almost sweeps. Um, he's going to bring in his Tapu Fini, probably to Defog. I am going to go hard into Mammoth Swine, uh, as he does go for the Defog, and I'm going to go for Rocks again, and I'm not going to let him Defog, basically, as he's going to go for Scald, he can't burn me, so that's fine, I'm going to go for EQ here, and uh, if he leaves this thing low, then it's game over, uh, yep, there it is, and he does Scald again, beautiful, okay, so Tapu Lele comes back in now. And goes for a Psychic. And that'll knock this thing out. Uh, it's got two switches into rocks. He's actually going to pull a switch into his Metagross. That's fine with me. I'm going to sack off my Torkoal here. He's probably going to go for a Steel move. Uh, and if he hits my Torkoal, then he's in range of Psychic. So there we go. There's the Zen Headbutt. And now he's in range of Psychic. And everything on his team dies except for Tapu Lele. So we'll go for in into ours. And we will go for the Psychic here. No reason not to. Our Psychic Terrain is back up, back online. And um, actually, what I can do on the top of Lele is I can switch out on it into my uh, Lantern because we are Assault Vested. Uh, we should be able to take a hit. We will see. He might go for Moonblast. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we are going to knock out the Metagross. Fantastic. And uh, now he probably goes into his top of Lele because nothing else takes a hit right now. And uh, yeah, and that's it. That should be it. I should win this game. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go into Lantern. No reason not to. If he actually pulls a double here, that's pretty good. But he's going to go for Moonblast. It's going to get a crit. No special attack drop, though. Nice. Okay. So let's go for a Volt Switch here. He's just going to Moonblast again, more than likely. Uh, if he switches out, that's fine, too. But I think that's uh, I think that's Scarf damage. So we're speed tying. That could actually be pretty bad. Huh. The fact that he's Scarfed. If a Crit Moon Blast did 46, then a regular one would do about 34, which means I don't take two. I would have been able to take multiple Moon Blasts. He's actually going to go out into his Finny, and I'm going to go back into Lele here. And Psychic Terrain is up for another five turns now because it faded the turn prior, which is awesome, as he's probably going to bring in his Lele again. And now, uh, I think it's waiting for Sun to go away, basically. He's going to go into his... Um, I think Shadow Balling here is the correct play. Does that kill Volcarona? I doubt it. Volcarona. Yeah, it takes 27 to 31. It doesn't kill after rocks. Yeah, so I have to go for Moonblast. All right, so we'll knock that out or knock it low. He's going to crit me. Um, I'm going to go out into Lantern here. And uh, basically, I have to come back in and Psychic twice and hope I win a speed tie. He's going to go for another Moonblast. It's going to do 35. Uh, we're going to attempt to go for a Volt Switch. Obviously, he's going to outspeed us. Back into Lele we go. Psychic Terrain is going to f uh, uh, fade, but we're still going to be able to knock out the Volcarona without the Psychic Terrain. It's fine. And we're faster, so... Down goes the Volcarona. Just waiting for it to leave. There we go. And we do pick up the first win. 14 minutes in. Jesus. All right. Moving on to the next game. I'm going to keep this short. Probably about 25 minutes. Um, I've faced this team before. He's banded uh, Bulu. Offensive Tran, I believe. Um, what did he lead with last time? I think he led with Bulu. So I'm going to lead with Mamoswine. Mm, no, nah, I'm going to lead with Torkoal. He's going to lead off with Greninja. Okay, so good lead on his part. Uh, I think just going for a switch out into Lantern is fine. As he's going to go for the U-turn. 
I kind of expected that, but I didn't want to make the aggressive play. It's probably going to go into Bulu now, but that's okay. No, he goes into Heat Ran, okay. I know he has Earth Power, but uh, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ground as he goes for Stealth Rocks. Cool. All right, so we're going to get a big hit off on this. All right, he's not offensive. He's a Stealth Rocker, okay. Uh, we'll go for Volt Switch now as he goes out into Tapu Bulu. Fantastic. That means I get to Rapid Spin as uh, I can bring in Torkoal. Nothing he goes for can knock me out. I've also got Sludge Bomb, uh, so he can't really risk staying in. I'm going to go for a Rapid Spin here. And uh, his Grassy Terrain is helping me right now, so that's nice. He's going to go back into his Heat Ran. That's fine. And uh, we're going to switch right back out into Lantern here. See if he goes for the Earth Power this time. He does go for the Earth Power. Gets a crit. All right. A little bit lucky on his part. Uh, What do I do here? All right. We're going to Celesteela on his next Earth Power. And we try to Earthquake and hope he doesn't burn us with a Lava Plume. Let's play like that. Because this Earthquake is going to hurt. We're actually faster than his Heat Ren. Fantastic. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Um, do I want to Earthquake again? Because he risks this, like, destroying his life. I'm actually going to go for Seeds. As he goes down to Finny. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're going to gain some health back. I'm going to go for Heavy Slime here. As he's going to switch out into his Metagross. Alright, that's fine. Um, I'm going to Seed this as well. Even if he has T-Punch, it's not going to do enough. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And we missed the Leech Seed. Fantastic. Okay. Back into Torkoal we go. On his T-Punch. As that shouldn't do enough to 2-hit KO. No, it does not. And he's going to take Rocky Helmet. Fantastic. Let's go for Rapid Spin again. He goes for Zen Headbutt. Knocks us out. But he takes some more Rocky Helmet. And now what do I do about this thing? He's Zen Headbutt. Well, we know that Shadow Ball almost kills. That's good. Um, I think Lorantis can take a hit. So I'm going to go into this. And I'm actually just going to go for Leaf Storm. The reason I'm going for Leaf Storm, guys, is because it does put this in range of Shadow Ball. We lose this anyway. I'm just letting you know now. But uh, this does put this in range of Shadow Ball. And it also allows me to hit the Heat Ran a little bit without giving it Flash Fire. He's going to go for Mash. Uh, we are going to go for the Leaf Storm. So Hidden Power Fire would have taken this thing out, but it's fine. I'm going to go for another Leaf Storm, because there's no reason not to. He's going to go for a T-Punch. Uh, but now he's in range of Shadow Ball, which we will go for. And uh, should he want to switch, that's fine. Heat Ren is his best play by far. I think he even has Flash Cannon on it, if I'm not mistaken. Tapu Finney's actually going to come in. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Can I beat him if I get up rocks? Not really. All right. Well, we're going to go into the Lantern anyway. As he decides to double into his Greninja. Okay. I'm going to go for Volt Switch. He's going to go for Dark Pulse. It is going to take us out, actually, which is surprising. Um, because we are Assault Vest, of course. He might be Specs. We'll go into Lele. And uh, I'm actually going to double into Mamoswine, predicting him not to want to lose this. Let's see what he does. Because he should know that we're Scarfed at this point. And going for Moonblast. So I'm predicting the Heat Ran. Let's see. He does go into Finny. Okay. All right. Um, either way, I'm getting a Brox now. As he goes for a Moonblast, so he doesn't have water attack. Lowers my special attack. That was very useful to, to me. Why did you do that, man? All right. Uh, there's another Moonblast. We do live. And I'm going to go for Crash here. As he does stay in. Uh, I expected him to go into Landorus, maybe. But uh, I'm going to bring in Celesteela now. And we are going to try to win with this. So let's go for the Leech Seed. He's going to go for a Taunt. Okay, that's fine. We will go for the Flame Charge here. He's going to go for Moon Blast. So we're going to be a little bit faster. He's going to lower my Spatak. That doesn't matter. And uh, now we are going to go for a Heavy Slam. Knock out. No, nope, not knock out the Finny. All right. And now it comes down to Tapu Lele, which cannot 1v1 his entire team. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Moon Blast here. It does knock this thing out. He doesn't conserve the 6-0. Fantastic. Uh, Bulu comes in, actually. Crit. Please, crit. The love of God. Nope. All right. <laughs> it would have been fun, but that's going to be it for that game. Let's move on to the next one. I mean, the team still works, as you can see. I think that was poor execution. Uh, okay, so we're Shed Shell Celesteela, so this is the first time this can actually work. But he also has a Dug Trio, which is annoying. Um, 
let's lead off here with with I think Torkoal yeah Torkoal he's gonna lead with Feromosa he's probably gonna U-turn uh, but there's nothing you can U-turn into that takes a flamethrower well I'm gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp actually he's gonna go for U-turn he's gonna take some Rocky Helmet damage that U-turn did nothing he's also gonna take a Life Orb fantastic good to know and now he's gonna go into Duck Trio. He's gonna get burned with Will O Wisp. And now we're gonna knock him out with a Flamethrower. His Earthquake is going to do relatively about 30%. He's actually gonna go for Stealth Rocks first. I'm gonna knock out his Duggy there. And uh, I don't think there's a single thing on his team right now that can knock me out. <laughs> if I'm just being honest. His Feromosa comes in. I'm gonna go for a Rapid Spin. He's gonna go for HJK. Uh, and I'm gonna get rid of these rocks. Fantastic. So they're gone. And if he wants to hit me again, that's fine. Uh, I do have Ice Shard on deck. Uh, I'm actually going to go into Lele, because he's not going to go for a bug move here. As he does just go for another HJK. Great. Alright, so he's going to take some more Life Orb. And uh, now we're going to go for a Psychic. Because there are no switchins. As he's going to go into Magnezone, that is not a switchin, my friend. <laughs> okay, apparently it is, because he's AV. Uh, I'm just going to go into Lantern here. Because I don't have a reason not to. As he's going to go for Flash Cannon and do zero. And uh, I'm just going to Volt Switch out. Because again, there's no reason not to. Um, he decides to stay in with his mag. I'm not sure what he's going for. I'm going to go to Mamoswine. As he decides to go for a Signal Beam. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Quake here. Because I know that I'm faster than him. I'm going to knock him out. <laughs> there we go. Psychic Terrain is also gone. So I can Ice Shard the Feromosa now. Which is awesome. I can Ice Shard the Salamence as well. He's going to go into Mimikyu. I'm going to go for Rocks. Let's see if he just straight up attacks me. No, he goes for Swords Dance. Uh, I'm going to go for an Ice Shard here to break this thing's disguise. And uh, then I might go into Celesteela. Not sure yet. We'll see. So break the disguise. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go into uh, Lele. Lele's fine. He's Life Orb as well. And yeah, Lele's fine. Lele goes for a... Well, this thing's weak to Shadow Ball, right? So let's go for Shadow Ball. Okay, that didn't knock it out. <laughs> That's unfortunate. He's going to take some more Life Orb there. Um, How do I want to play this? Well, I don't need Torkoal anymore, so... I'm going to go into Torkoal. I'm going to go for a Flamethrower in case for whatever reason he switches out. He's going to kill himself with Life Orb and uh, Rocky Helmet. And... Now I'm going to... Now I'm going to go into Lantern, as he goes into Feromosa, okay. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to go for a high jump kick. So I'm going to switch out into Lorantis, as he does go for an HJK. He actually knocks me out with that, wow. Alright, well I think I need Lantern to win. Uh, maybe not, maybe Celesteela does it. Because... He doesn't have anything that immediately kills it, unless he's Fire Blast on his Salamence. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to make the decision, go into Lantern. Uh, we'll go for the Volt Switch. He might miss, too. He doesn't. He connects. He kills himself. We'll go into Celesteela. And now it comes down to um, what his Salamence is, essentially. We'll go for a Leech Seed. And then we'll go for a Flame Charge on the following turn. He's going to go for a Dragon Dance, okay. Uh, so he can't touch me, basically. I'm going to go for a Flame Charge here. Uh, Dragon Claw is going to do zero. We are going to boost our speed. And I think I'm actually just going to go for another Flame Charge uh, to make sure that his Pinsir can't outspeed me. He's going to go for a uh, Supersonic Sky Strike. That's not going to matter. Uh, actually, it is. It, he killed me. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, there's that. I uh, probably should have gone for Heavy Slam then. <laughs> wow. All right. I'm pretty sure Heavy Slam would have killed. Um, Salamence. That was surprising. That's a flying move. That's a Celesteela. Celesteela. Where are you? Uh, heavy Slam. Salamence without Intimidate. 44 to 52, so I think it was a roll anyway. Ah, uh, no, we're attack invested. I think we're max attack adamant. Yeah, that was a kill. Alright, probably should have gone for that. But uh, we're going to get one last one, actually, guys. Uh, we'll try to make it fast. Basically, all the threats in the OU tier. All in one team. Um, 
Nothing to deal with Lantern, though, too well. It's gonna lead off with Greninja. I'm just gonna go for an Ice Beam, actually. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam. He's probably gonna U-turn out into, like, Landorus or Garchomp. Probably. <laughs> There's Garchomp. It's gonna take an Ice Beam. It's gonna die to a crit. You got a crit U-turn, so... Look. I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch. He's gonna go for an EQ. He's actually faster than me. Okay, good to know. Um... Hmm. Alright. Lele scares him out. Lele invites in Celesteela. Right? So, let's go into Torkoal. He's not gonna stay in. Yeah, okay. There's Celesteela. Alright. And now let's go for a will wisp Because we get to burn something. And it's gonna be his Landorus. Fantastic. And uh, I'm gonna go for a Flamethrower first on his rocks. It's gonna do a lot with a crit. And now we're gonna go for a Rapid Spin. Probably on an EQ. And that's gonna do zero. <laughs> wow. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the rocks. He has Rocky Helmet. And now I'm gonna go out into Celesteela. And he's gonna go for rocks again. And we are going to fire off a Flame Charge and boost our speed. There we go. And now we're at plus one, plus one. So let's see what he's gonna do about this. Uh, he's gonna go into Metagross first. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed on his T-Punch. He's almost gonna take me out, is that adamant? Why do I keep missing Leech Seed on Metagross? What is going on? All right, anyway. The play there was probably to Flame Charge, but it doesn't matter now. All right, I'm gonna go into Torkoal. Hopefully he's not EQ. Hopefully he has to attack me. I'm gonna go for Flamethrower. He is EQ. All right, uh, Lorantis. I know you can't knock me out, so I'm gonna go for an Empower Fire. Let's hope it does over 43%, I believe. And it does not. Uh, I think I still think Shadow Ball can kill, though. Uh, let's go for another one. He's gonna go for a bullet. I'm gonna go into Top of Lele. Gonna fire off a Shadow Ball. Please kill. Please kill. He's gonna go out into Greninja. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna get a Spadef drop. I'm gonna go for another Shadow Ball, then. Do I get another Spadef drop? Nope. He's gonna go for Deep Pulse. That's fine. Psychic Terrain fades. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go out into Mamoswine right now. As he is going to double into Celesteela. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go for flinches at this point. He is going to get flinched on the first one. And we will go for another Icicle Crash. And no flinch there. He goes for a Heavy Slam. And I think that's game. He gets a plus one Spadef boost. Um, unless I can crit. Nope. <laughs> nope. That did nothing. Well, that's gonna be a very bad live. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, probably should have clicked Heavy Slam with the uh, with the Celesteela on the Salamence. That's my fault. I apologize again. But uh, anyway, um, like I said, I'm lacking a little bit of inspiration lately for teams. Uh, I'm gonna be focusing a little bit more on recording and team building within the next coming days because I'm gonna be on vacation. So I'm gonna dedicate a lot of time to that. Uh, as well as uh, something big coming up, so I got I got a lot of de time to dedicate to a lot of different things. Also, the, with the GPC starting up, gotta start prepping for that. If you guys didn't know, season six is starting up. Uh, we actually just drafted, so yeah, there's that. And uh, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below for me. Comment. Let me know what you thought of the team, uh, what you thought of the live, every anything. Just 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 comment. Let me know. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.